threatened by a fucking black woman putting my full government and my place of employment. So being doxxed by a black woman, can't fake, kind of fucking hurts, and she never once reached out to me or contacted me so I could spend my side of the story. This is the article that spooked my fucking job and got me fired. Not only So what's up, guys? What's going on? So everyone has heard about the uh, the black therapist that got fired. All right. And uh, shout out to Fawcett Media. Uh, I like the cool dude. I like his stuff. I like his stuff. He does reaction just like me. This reaction video. And uh, he dug a little deeper and pulled out what's really going on. And I just went back and dug a little deeper. My man also. So, but I used uh, some of his stuff. So, give the man a shout out. Follow him. He has good content. Uh, make sure you hit subscribe, like, and uh, notification bell on both. So, subscribe to both channels, mine and his, and support these guys and myself. All right. She is trying to spread a narrative that black men got her fired. But the article that she said herself got her fired was from a black woman. So maybe the things that got you fired was this. It went viral because a bunch of men got butt hurt for me telling them to better themselves. They were mad because I called them dusty bitches and wanted them to be accountable for their fuck shit behavior. But like, go off, King. Be but like, I was dead ass like, hey, go talk about the shit that hurts you and plagues you and has traumatized you. Um, so you That's can basically learn the emotional vocabulary required to express yourself to make your life easier. And they were like, fuck this bitch. That's what they were like. <sighs> now, from every article, Twitter, whatever I've seen, the comments that I see are mostly from black women. Some defending, some are against, but I haven't seen any black therapist defend her. But the narrative keep coming back to black man. Why do you say the black man did this to you? When is nothing but women that did it? Check it out. What connection just to clap bitches cheeks? Uh, I got a question and don't fuck me. But why do y'all fake emotional connection just to clap bitches cheeks? I just wanted to fuck you. I didn't want you to sell me hopes and dreams of us talking in five years. I didn't want I didn't want you to tell me how much you make and introduce me to your kids. I just wanted the cheeks. Why why did you fake? Now I gotta talk about your punk ass in therapy. I gotta tell this bitch why I hate you so much. Why Oh, now we're getting down to it. Sounds like Why? Hmm. I just wanted to fuck and you made you made it weird. Now I got to grieve your ass. No. Okay. So, maybe it's the things that you're saying and how you're saying. It. And I and I always told uh people that internet street life doesn't go with your professional life. If your professional life is not with this and there's only certain things you can do with it. And she's learning the hard way. You sign a contract with the company you work with to be a therapist. There are misconduct policies within those contracts that tell you not to do certain things to discredit the company you work for. But you do this shit and blame us for you getting fired. Watch, watch this. Hello, it's your favorite baddie, mental health professional, back at it again with the insights. <laughs> Baby girl, uh, he don't even have pride in himself. So what the fuck in your beautiful ass mental health make you think he gonna have pride in you? <laughs> He's not. <laughs> so what we gonna do, man? What we gonna do? You need to elevate yourself and get out of that toxic, dusty ass situation that is dimming your And how I know dusty bitch that was dimming my shine. And we don't dim. We don't dim for no bitch no more. Uh-uh. That's not happening. Worst therapist of all time. Let's get into it. <laughs> yeah. 
Okay, so men are very upset, which is good because anger initiates change. If you're uncomfortable by the shit I'm saying, that means you need to go talk about it. <laughs> so I've been very nice to y'all. I've been. Now, <laughs> see, I, I see what, what's really going on now. The chick has, she went on venting about something that recently happened with her in a relationship. If you look at it closer, she's talking about a certain moment of time that something happened and she's upset about it and she's venting toward black men. And so now she's on the internet shaking her ass around, showing off her body. And what's going on with her with her body? I know we all got something, but what what's going on with this? And I can tell you what it is. Somewhere in between the last year or so, she lost weight. So now she wants to be on her social media, shaking that ass, trying to be like all these other girls, trying to show it off with a dirty room. The trashy room. If y'all look at it, look at the room next time. Room trashy. Legs ashy. Body frumpy. Let's just be real. It's straight down. She's not a bad looking woman, but she ain't, and she's not in bad shape, but she's not where she claiming she is. But the whole thing is behind her being hurt from a man. And, and watch this. I got a question, and don't fuck me, but why do y'all fake emotional connection just to clap bitches' cheeks? I just wanted to fuck you. I didn't want you to sell me hopes and dreams of us talking in five years. I didn't want, I didn't want you to tell me how much you make and introduce me to your kids. I just wanted the cheeks. Why, why did you fake? Now I gotta talk about your punk ass in therapy. I gotta tell this bitch why I hate you so much. Why? Oh, now we're getting down to it. Sounds like- Why? Hmm? I just wanted to fuck. And you made you made it weird. Now I gotta grieve your ass. Now I one, my motherfucking paycheck. Two, my motherfucking patience. And three, this fat ass. With this ass to be fucking played with. Alright? So talk to me pretty, talk to me nice. So I reached a part of my healing journey where I don't like men's no more. I've been delivered! No, nah, real talk was gonna do the shit. <laughs> Yeah, no, um, I've reached this, 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 this point and I need y'all to help me with this shit. Cause now when I see attractive motherfuckers on the street, I don't even engage. Cause one, I assume one, they got a bitch pregnant, two, they got a bitch and three, they got a bitch that they not going to tell me about. So like when I, when I see the attractive, whatever the fucks that I be wanting to fuck, I don't even, I don't even get nothing. Nothing happens because I just don't want no smoke. Because I just assume that every male that I encounter is going to lie to me. Because everyone I encounter lies to me. <laughs> yeah. Like, Mant is really holding a lot of the L's right now. Like, nobody wants y'all. Because y'all are, like, y'all are, like, intentionally not healing y'all selves on purpose. And it's giving growth. Oh, let's see what else. Some people are like, oh, her delivery is off. Uh, do you think I call my clients dusty bitches? No, just internet males who need to heal. I'm, I show unconditional positive regard. I'm actually quite reserved in session. This shit is the fucking internet. Um, um, for the people who are saying in the comments, mostly men, that my license should be taken away. That's not how that shit works, boo-boo. Um, I went through a lot of schooling and a lot of um, tests and internships and practical hours um, to earn said license. And I can't, I'm not gonna lose it because your feelings are hurt. Um, well, how things work. People are like, hey, um, I'd never go talk to her because of the person who traumatized me. <laughs> That's not the reason. Things to be addressed in therapy. Now, I did say that 90% of my clientele were men. It was that, it, that was true at one point in time. It has shifted to mostly women. Who is? For narc abuse. <laughs> go fucking figure. But uh, when I was counseling. And putting on a show on TikTok on top of that with no bra on. You know, hey. It is what it is. The mans, uh, we worked on emotional intelligence. The same thing that y'all guys need to work on. Like, um, 
I'm not your enemy. Uh, and I never have been. The message of what I'm saying is healing. And you heal yourself. Things just tend to work or function a little bit better because you know yourself and you know how to navigate through this horrible bitch. And I even validated for y'all that y'all experience is very difficult. But again, y'all refuse to Oh, speak. so you agree. Oh, so you agree. You agree. That some of these. Okay, so now comes the good part. Now, she's been ranting all over social media. Um, the one post that got her caught up, I'll put this on, it'll, it'll come up, that got the most attention is what got her fired. But when they go and look through the rest of her posts, the shit I just shown you, then that leads up to it. You've been saying stuff about the people that you're treating. She said herself, 90% of her clientele are black men so you go on social media and talk trash about these black men who open up to you and it goes back to that same shit why black men don't open up to their woman or to women is because later on when you in your feelings you're gonna bring it up and talk shit about it she got in her feelings over some shit happened with a relationship with some dude and what you do come on social media bring up all your clientele try to say well I'm not talking exactly about them but you keep referring to the men that come in your office and then you say we got you fired clearly this woman got you fired so why the fuck are you keep you, you keep saying men did it and then you make a dumbass remark as a plethora of men, black men, called in to get you fired. How do you know black men called in? How do HR know, like, oh, are you a black guy calling, complaining? No, HR don't say that shit. And all way you can complain is calling HR. Unless they know this man directly, but they probably hit him up in social media and all this other stuff. And probably a lot of black therapists hit him, hit him up. The organization. Because she said... Uh, higher chain had a meeting on what to do with her so they let her go and see now the part I'm about to show you is they hadn't fired her yet so she tried to save face and come on and apologize before it gotten there but the paperwork you can tell is already in the works but watch her reaction now all this empathy she's showing but then she still yeah, but if you know if y'all can leave me out of it, it'll be okay. I'm about to say it. Come on. You may not like what I say, and you may not even like me, and that's fine because you don't know me on a personal level. I get that. But I just want you guys to know. that I'm not gonna stop talking about these issues. I'm not gonna stop talking about healing. I'm not gonna stop talking about the betterment of black people because it's me. I am a black person who endears the struggles and the tribulations that black people endure. I know what it feels like to be marginalized. I know what it feels like to be counted out. I know what that feels like. So I apologize if anybody felt that I was coming at them or felt shame and anger. Those aren't good emotions to feel and I completely empathize with that. But my message is clear. Please go help yourself. And it would be nice for my personal life to be left out of it. Because at the end of the day, I just want everyone to live safe and prosperous and healthy lives. And you don't have to endure all this shit alone. All right. You guys be well. Okay, so, uh, very sad apology wasn't worth it because it came back to oh, if you leave me my personal life out of it 
uh, you put your personal life in it when you made the freaking post young people get this through your freaking heads the internet is still part of your life it's part of your jobs stop posting stuff talking shit about your jobs and the people that you work for and the clientele that you have thinking they can't come back and fire you black woman title does not give you any special privileges just because you are a black woman I keep trying to tell people this you keep saying well especially a black woman oh not to a black woman y'all let a black woman you are a woman you are a person in this business world you categorizing yourself as you should, should get some special privilege but the world isn't isn't that the same thing of white tears and the Karens the white privilege and all that shit Aren't we falling down that same path? You're expecting some special privilege because of your whiteness? No, because of your blackness? No, because I'm a black woman. But anyway, they let her ass go. So they went to the board, decided to fire her. All right, probably her misconduct, not representing the company well, and discussing the clientele and demeaning the people that you're supposed to be helping. That's why she got fired. Now, since she's gotten fired, she goes on a rant. All right? So, this is what happens again in your feelings. Not thinking, I got to get me another job. I need to clean this shit up. But you go on here and make another post. Now, that post getting pushed out. So, just watch it. Now, I'll come back. Just watch this shit. Well, hello. It's your friendly neighborhood therapist who thought she could save these hoes, but got her job terminated as a result. Story time? I think yes. Shit you not, I posted a video on Monday telling men that their dusty behavior is only harming them and that they would benefit from emotional intelligence. And I shit you not, by Friday, didn't have employment. All of this started with a Psychology Today article stating that men are lonelier than ever because they have no fucking emotional skills. And I agreed and doubled down and told y'all that y'all lives would radically improve if you expanded the shit that came out your mouth. But instead of healing, y'all will do anything but that. Instead of being accountable like, hey, this bitch see me, I stirred a little bit, y'all got so hurt, so hurt that you contacted Massa. Mm-hmm, that's exactly what happened. So first the post goes viral on Twitter. Cause y'all need fucking help. And y'all wanted to argue with bitches blue till they fucking blew in the face. Some of you hoes is not gonna be saved. And that's the conclusion that I've come to. So because this shit's gone viral, I'm thinking, okay, cool. We starting a discussion on mental health and people are, you might not like my fucking delivery, but motherfuckers is starting to talk, you know? Shaking the tables, I don't give a fuck. But then it turns into this entire crusade of attacking a black woman who serves the fucking black community. There were comments like, I'm gonna find her credentials and report her, cause I told y'all to be better? Yeah, y'all are fucking weird. Y'all scream that y'all want to protect women, protect black women specifically, but have done nothing to protect this black woman who has been serving the communities. I have been violated in several areas and I'm gonna outline each one. This article was written by a fucking black woman putting my full government and my place of employment. So being doxxed by a black woman can't fake kind of fucking hurts and she never once reached out to me or contacted me so I could spend my side of the story. This is the article that spooked my fucking job and got me fired. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a minute. You were saying Black men got you fired. But now you saying the article that the black woman this journalist wrote spoofed your employer and got you fired. Hmm. So a black woman got you fired because she wrote the article that got their attention. But it's our fault because you were talking about us? Uh, gotcha. 
not only does she not have any regard for my safety, many other articles have been written as a result. Here are a few of them, just to name a few. Black Twitter has words for therapists scolding men to go to fucking therapy. Y'all attacked me and got mad at me because I wanted better for y'all. That's the most crab in the barrel bucket type bullshit I've ever heard in my fucking life. A plethora of black men decided to take it upon themselves to call my employment to get me fired. You succeeded, but you succeeded in not the way. Now, this is the crazy shit. She's trying to spin this for people to come after black men. When you just said this woman got you fired. So now you're saying a bunch of black men called in and got you fired. So, so every time they called in and said, hey, so you're a black man that's calling in. Let me get that clear. Okay, got it. Thank you. Noted. Oh, you're black also. Oh, okay. Noted. HR, did you hear about you getting a call from some black men? Oh, sure. We got about 500 calls from black men. They made sure they said they were black men. Got it. You just said the woman. And I'm going to show you this. This is her director that got her ass fired. That fired her ass. All right. Did she didn't blame him? Watch. That you think. If it's one thing about black women is that we're incredibly resilient. This just cleared the table to give me space and opportunity to educate the masses while shaking our asses to healing because y'all got mad because I wanted you to do better. I was told they consulted with shareholders and decided to terminate my contract because I told y'all to go to therapy. That's the world we live in. Those are the two people that had anything to do with her being fired. The woman that wrote the article and the director who actually booted her ass out the door. No black man. No, nah, I ain't see none. A president of this one organization and a director of another. But you're still gonna blame black men. You can't be the problem. I mean, you're, 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 you're problem to all your fucking issues. I'm telling you. But this is what happens once you get fired and your behavior has been checked. You go to tell women, fuck it. Let's just go act a damn fool. Instead of learn from my mistake. Don't do the things I did. You need people to come to your rescue. And there's some people coming to the rescue. But it ain't making sense because they hadn't seen all the videos. And they only reading titles. People ain't even seen the videos. They reading titles that black men got her fired and blah, blah, blah. Because no black men are on here getting you fired. You made the mistake to talk about your clientele. And that's a breach of trust between the doctor and the patient. You're a therapist. So, once you fuck up, go thought it up. That's what she say. Shake your asses for the masses. Quote it. Worst thirds. Check her out. Okay, since some of y'all need the confirmation from mental health professionals, if you want to be a hoe, be a hoe. If you want to be a slut, be a slut. If you want to go thought it out in the streets. Bye, bitch. Be in the fucking streets. But definitely be safe about it and try to find people that are reasonably sane. But other than that, yellow, shake that shit open. Because you know why? Because you know why? You're going to die. And you want to be in your death, baby? Like, damn, I should have shrugged on this. No, a black cone. You want to be there? No. No. You want to tell your grandkids, yes, I was thotting. I was popping. I was living my life. Cause you know why bitch you're gonna die. So if you're thinking, should I sit on this shit? Sit on it. Sit on it. Sit on it. I'm a strong advocate for being a slut. Make sure you make sure you get that clean bill of health and use that protection, cause we ain't trying to get trapped out here. We ain't trying to get but yeah, be a hoe. Your therapist co-signer. Be a hoe. 
<laughs> this shit is hilarious. <laughs> I, I'm telling you, this chick is, she got to be on something, man. She look like she high as fuck. She like, I get, and then she's shaking all that loose meat around, like, and, and your, tell your grandkids how you was out here thotting it up and shaking it. What the fuck? <laughs> Stop smoking whatever the hell it is. Get your ass off TikTok. Go get your job. And, uh, and stop telling people go out here and thought and to my dog therapist said so guys can't make this shit up and guys this is JP and I'm about out of here man make sure you subscribe like and definitely comment cause I know y'all gonna come at me about some shit but I don't give a fuck this shit is hilarious alright I'm out of here peace <laughs>